<laughs> Indians, we go when we when it's time. Right? Am I right, you guys? Hey? That's right. We don't let the clock determine what we're gonna do. We don't let the clock boss us around. We let our woman boss us around. <laughs> Am I right, darn eh? <laughs> anyway, that's different now, man. The things have changed. I remember the first time they came up here, you guys didn't have cell phones, eh? Everybody got cell phones now. Walk on real cool, eh? My, I got a new phone. I got no minutes, but I got a new phone. This is how young people walk around like now. Today, look, watch this. <laughs> and young people can text fast, eh? Even one handed text. Eating text. Talk to somebody else and text. Oh my God, I'm going to say it right now. <laughs> Even go to the bathroom and text. <laughs> How do you spell? Huh? <laughs> this is how the older ones text. Am I right? They like this. <laughs> now everybody's got cameras on their phones, eh? I want to say this to you beautiful young ladies there, okay? Stop doing this. Stop going in the bathroom in the mirror and going like this. <laughs> We're going, wow, what are you looking at? <laughs> and I want to tell the older ones this. Your phone has a zoom. It has a zoom. This is how native zoom in like this, eh? I'm going to take a picture of you. Just wait. <laughs> I'm going to zoom out. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Everybody has that. Everybody has Facebook, everybody got all this kind of stuff. See, I'm an old school Indian. I'm old school. Like, I'm like, uh, you know, when I was younger, like, we had slop pails. How many of you guys use slop pails when you're younger? Slop pail users, come on, put up your hand. Come on, be proud, be proud. All you slop pail users, yes. Right on. You be proud, man, because if you're walking out, I'll see that slop pail ring right there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you try to tell the grandkids that, and they're going, what? What are you talking about? We grabbed newspaper, flashlight, rubber boots, and went to the bush. <laughs> we sat in the slop bell in the outhouse, you know. <laughs> and those were the days, man. When I was younger, when people talked about thongs, they were sandals. <laughs> that was a thong. Look, today. This is a thong today. Look, we did. <laughs> Pieces straight up to crack your ass. <laughs> I think young people today are spoiled and lazy. Am I right, parents? Am I right, eh? Yeah. And they talk with their hand. They go like this. They go like whatever. Like loser. Talk to the hand. I never said that to my mom. If I said, mom, talk to the hand, my mom would say, oh, stump, come here, give me your hand. <laughs> Talk to my fist. <laughs> See, because we had a thing called a good licking. Am I right? How many got spanked in your kids? How many got spanked? Put up your hand. How many got spanked? How many still do? How many still get spanked? <laughs> I remember I was spanking this one from Sturgeon. I was spanking this one from Sturgeon Lake. I'm not going to tell you where she's at. So whatever. Anyway. <laughs> I'm like, who's your daddy? She said, yes, I, I don't know. <laughs> Kids today, they got everything. They got computers. What did we have? We had light bright, huh? <laughs> Kids today have iPads. What did we have? We had the Etch-a-Sketch. Remember the Etch-a-Sketch down the Res Road, eh? <laughs> now I gotta start over. <laughs> Kids got the, the big plasma TV in every room. Am I right? Every room. They got a big TV on the wall. Ma! Oh, hey. See, when I was a kid, we had one TV in the living room. Am I right, you guys? Eh? Everybody watched it. Sunday evening, Walt Disney. That was it. Everybody had one TV in their house. My house, we were cool. We had two TVs. We had the one TV with the picture sitting on top of the TV that had the sound. <laughs> we had the pliers change the channel. <laughs> Remember the pliers? <laughs> change the channel, pull up your zipper. <laughs> and those were the days, man. Now everything's, everything's changed, eh? Everything's changed. You know, everybody's getting tattoos now. They call it body art. When I was a kid, if you had a tattoo, you were a biker. 
you're a sailor or you're an inmate. <laughs> or else you have the res tattoo. Love. <laughs> Some initials. Some of you sitting there going, that's, that's not funny. <laughs> res tattoos. <laughs> The tattoo I don't get is a tattoo. That, I remember the first time I seen a tattoo on a woman. I'm not going to say where she was from, Giffley. <laughs> she had a tattoo of a butterfly. Right in the teeth, right there on the stomach. It was cute. <laughs> Real cute. You know, and that was like uh, about 15 years ago. Eh? I seen that tattoo first time on a, on a, on a Métis woman. Eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I seen her a few years ago. She gained some weight then. Eh? Oh. <laughs> That tattoo looks like a vulture now. <laughs> I'm kind of stretched out a little bit. <laughs> the tattoo I don't get is the one they put back here. At the, what do you call those things? Uh, tramp something? Tramp stamp. Thank you. They put it right above the crack of their ass. <laughs> Why put a tattoo where you can't see it? Eh? Right the, you need a mirror, eh? Oh, look at that nice tattoo. <laughs> I told this one, eh? I told her, who's about 20 years old, I said, you know, in about 40 years, that butterfly on your back is going to be your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Everything drops. <laughs> you get older too, eh? You know? When I, was, when I was younger, when you went to a doctor, it's because you hurt something, you broke something, or you caught something. You know? And when I was your age, that's the only reason why you went to a doctor. When you get my age... <laughs> You gotta go for an annual checkup. Am I right, guys? Am I right? Eh? Ole. Am I right there, white man? Am I right? Yes. You go for an annual checkup? Ah, the boy, check yourself out. Yes. I went for mine. Ole. They put that squeezy thing on my arm. Shh, 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 shh. Maybe stick up my tongue. Laugh like it from sturgeon. Nah. You know, they, they grab my boys. Two hands. Made me cough. <laughs> Took some blood, looked in my eye, my ear, everything, eh? You know, and I, okay, they're done, so I'm putting on my pants, eh? <laughs> For the white people, jeans. <laughs> For Indians, eh? My pants. <laughs> Put on my pants, and then all of a sudden, the doctor said, How old are you? And I told him, he said, Well, have you ever had your prostate checked? And I'm like, uh, No, it's getting prostate. What's that? It's inside of you. You should get it checked out at your age. I said, okay, go ahead. <laughs> he said, no, 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 we got to go the other way. Tunde. <laughs> we got to go the other way. Tunde. <laughs> Which way? The other way. Nitiente. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Exit only. Exit only. <laughs> Virgin. <laughs> Never been to jail. <laughs> All of a sudden, you open up this book. Start telling me all the stuff about prostate, this, prostate, my age, and everything. I said, okay. Okay, 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 okay. You can check my prostate. So I took my pants off again. Put on my hospital robe, and he said, you know, just tie it up here. That's it. Don't tie it back. I said, okay. And, uh, and then he looked at me. He got up and he looked at me, and he was tall, 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 <laughs> tall white man, had fingers like E.T. <laughs> he said, you got a choice, Mr. Burnstick. You could lie down on a gurney and hold your knees in the fetal position. We could do it that way, or you could bend over. <laughs> Those are my only two choices? <laughs> so, yeah. I'm trying to get all tough, eh? Well, I'm not going to lay down for no white man. I'll bend over. We have been bend over you guys for a long time, so... One more is not going to make a difference, I guess. So I, I, I bent over like this, eh? All of a sudden, that hospital robe just opened up, eh? My flat brown Danica ass was just... Smiling at him. And he was making noise. I'm like, what, what, what's he doing there? He's on, he's on the counter. He opened up this jar. All of a sudden, he just turned it up like this. And I'm not lying. He just started buttering my cheeks. And, Top way! I'm like this. I'm going, hey, hey. That tickle. <laughs> He 
And he said, okay, you're gonna feel some pressure. And I said, wow, you might feel some shit. <laughs> This is gonna feel a little bit uncomfortable. I said, I bet. I put a few more other words in there. <laughs> and he said, uh, I need you not to move. And I said, uh, okay. First time I ever had somebody say that to me. Yeah. I said, can I brace you? Can I grab your shoulder? And I said, okay, you can grab my shoulder. All of a sudden I felt a hand here. Huh? I watched the guts, boy. I felt another hand here over here. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, he didn't do that to me. But I'm going to tell you what this white man did to me. And I'm going to tell you this because I'm healing. I'm on my healing journey. All of a sudden, this tall white guy. <laughs> he took his ZT finger. <laughs> and he popped my cherry. He put his finger in there. Not like this, just one time. Boop. I'm like this, I'm like. Boop. I mean. Boop. And he started digging around in there. Like he was looking for a last pickle in the pickle jar. <laughs> digging around my ponytail slide. <laughs> I'm reaching my sweet grass. Ha ha. Ha ha bush. Give me strength, I'm suffering. All of a sudden, that's it. That's it. He was done. White man pulled out, <laughs> took off his hand condom. <laughs> he grabbed his book and he just walked out. He just walked out. Never gave me a hug. Never said Facebook me. Just walked out. And I'm standing there and I'm all like, I got that sensitive twitch in. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm trying to pull up my, I'm trying to pull up my dances, eh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All of a sudden the nurse opened the door and she says, Excuse me, Mr. Burnstick. The doctor will be with you in five minutes. Well, who was that guy? Oh, that's a white man from Valley View. <laughs> When you go to town, you see a tall white guy, long finger, I'm looking for him. 